Welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, my name is Phoenix. I'm an interior designer and I'm all about that live, laugh, love lifestyle. But let's be real, don't ever put this in your home. We know her as Pepper Potts from Iron Man. We have all heard of that controversial bone broth diet and her infamous brand Goop. By the way, I am still waiting to get my hands on one of those vagina scented candles, but it, honestly, it is like a rare item because they are always out of stock. I finally got a hold of Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina candle. It's got like a very strong earthy flavor to it. Today we're gonna react to the Open Door Architectural Digest review of Gwyneth Paltrow's home. As a disclaimer, remember this is just my professional opinion. There is absolutely no hate towards Gwyneth Paltrow and the design choices in her home. We do not stand for bullying on this page, so do not go for her. So this is the entry right here. We built this from the ground up, so it's the first time I've ever done anything like that. It's quite an undertaking. I think having spent so much time as an expat in Europe, really falling in love with Georgian proportions and those kind of details, I, I really wanted the entryway to feel like its own special room. The foyer is absolutely stunning. I love the use of the checkered board flooring. It really creates that timeless aesthetic look that really brings in a lot of those traditional elements that contrast really beautifully with the contemporary elements in her entire home. And so with the architects, we conceived of having a fireplace, which is something you see a lot in Europe in an entryway and gives this really nice feeling of warmth and welcome as you come in. The tiles reminds me of, you know, as I said, my time living in London, just a detail that's classic and traditional. I really like the mix of having the things that are sort of systemic to the house. They're more traditional, old floors. And then I think it gives sort of leeway to have a more contemporary, like mixed experience with the furnishing and stuff like that. This is another really great view of the foyer. The one thing that I'm kind of questioning is the actual entrance and the usability of it. One, I love the fireplace element, but I feel like it's a little bit out of place in a foyer in this kind of setting, especially in California. It is a beautiful design element, but the unsymmetrical balance of how it feels and sits in the room makes me feel uncomfortable how it is. Oh, this is uncomfortable. I feel like the space could have felt a little bit more comfortable if they brought in those symmetrical elements. I love the use of the wall moldings that they brought in throughout the space. The way they laid it out feels very unbalanced and the space doesn't feel as welcoming as you want it to be, especially in a foyer design. The other element that brought to my attention here, I mean, they may not use their front entrance, but just the overall design look of it, the usability is not there. So my assumption is that no one's actually using this front door, it is just for show because there is no designated area for show Shoes, there is no closet. They have one stool there that you could put your shoes on. But think about the livability of a foyer. You want a mirror, you want artwork. Other than that, this is a beautiful design and how it's showcased, but I feel like it's missing a few elements here. This is one of my favorite little rooms of the house, the powder room. It's got all of this hand done, antiqued mirror and hand painted wallpaper. So Gwenna says this is one of her favorite rooms in the house and honestly, I have to agree. I have always been an advocate for making that bold and dramatic powder room and this is exactly what they did. The use of the wallpaper, that beautiful artistic styled mirror, the wall sconces, the colors, the reclaimed sink they brought in, all of these elements create such a bold and unique space that you're enveloped in a small room that can really make an impact for you and your guests that use it. The hand-painted wallpaper is another really beautiful touch that I can only imagine how much it costs. The only issue I foresee with this is because the wallpaper is hand-painted with a little bit of that kind of plaster texture detail, it gives that 3D aspect to it. The only issue I would have with that is the collection of dust in this area. Instead, I would have actually done a hand-painted wallpaper that doesn't have that 3D texture to it, especially in such a small, confined space. Adding that extra level of dimension to the walls can make it feel a little bit more claustrophobic because there's a little bit too much detail. Regardless, it is a beautiful powder room. The only thing that I personally dislike about it is the full-length mirror and the wall-mounted faucet. Once again, it comes down to the usability and the water splashing all over it. Otherwise, impeccable. 
So this is the dining room here. I enlisted my friend Bridget to help me furnish the house. She's been one of my best friends for 20 years and I was trying to do it by myself. It was, I couldn't do it. But some of the things I had ordered before we started, like this beautiful table, this came from France, a beautiful furniture gallery called Colco's. And then Bridget found these really cool contemporary chairs. Now we're moving into the dining room and let me tell you, this wallpaper is stunning. When I say commit to a wallpaper, this is exactly what I mean. It envelops the entire room, it wraps around the entire space, and it creates such a beautiful environment versus having that one wall of accent wallpaper that looks so out of place. Once again, we have another fireplace in here. She really went for this entire theme of a fireplace in almost every single room. It takes away from the architectural aspect of what a fireplace is meant to be in a space. Yes, it creates that cozy environment, but as soon as you're starting adding in so many of them in every room, it takes away from the charm that actually is meant to be created from them. Another really great element that they brought into the space was juxtaposing those design elements of that contemporary and traditional look. Looking at the walls, even the flooring and the architectural aspects of the window panes and the doors bring a lot of traditional feel into them, but bringing in those elements of the contemporary styles, like the dining chairs and the light fixture, creates such a beautiful enveloped room Room that really adds so much extra character to a space versus just committing to one design style. So this is the kitchen. I love it so much, the heart of the home. This is where we are not on the same page. Don't get me wrong, this is a stunning kitchen, but honestly, the extra fireplace in here, Gwyneth, I have a bone to pick with you. But um, tch. I hope people get it. Because <laughs> I said the bone broth. <laughs> bone broth, bone to pick. <laughs> Only dad jokes. Like I said before, adding a fireplace into almost every existing room takes away from the charm. I can see where they wanted to bring that design style and aesthetic into the space to really create that cozy home family environment. This is the third room in and there's been a fireplace in every single one. Not every room needs to be warm and cozy with a fireplace. Sometimes we just need to chill. Having the range be in the middle of the room because I cook so much and I spent so much of my time facing the wall and my kids would be in the room so when it's like this you, you have the opportunity to cook and chat with people. Now this design element in the kitchen I think is absolutely incredibly well done. She mentions in the video in her previous home she spends a lot of time in the kitchen and a lot of time hosting with her family and friends. Gwyneth had mentioned talking about facing the wall when working on the stove so I I think having the range in the island and having that open concept feel brings such a warm and inviting element into the kitchen that not many people consider. If you have the space for a kitchen like this, I will always opt in for having the range on that island, especially if you're the one hosting and you're the one cooking. It is such a different environment to actually be engaged with your guests or your family, and it creates such an intimate style when you're actually cooking. This also was like a dream come true for me to have these particular blue plates like on, on a wall. And I, I think it just, you know, if you get plates, you know, that have a beautiful pattern, you wanna see them and usually they're just stacked in the cupboard. I think this is a really beautiful feature that they added in, displaying the beautiful china in a less traditional way that most people would think. Don't get me wrong, I can only imagine how much this china costs because from what I read, I'm pretty sure this is Hermes. And if we're talking about those plates, those are about $500 a pop at least. So, I mean, if you're spending that much money, you best believe I would have those on display as well. I also can really appreciate they have the informal kind of dining area in the kitchen that is completely separate from the formal, but there's still that connection there. So that's why you still create that intimate environment for that family zone versus that dining and actual hosting area. And then Steven, the architect, he insisted on us realizing his rolling ladder, which I love. The rolling staircase, I think, is a really beautiful feature. The one thing I don't like about it is the fact that it's in a kitchen. When it comes to the actual functionality of how the space is used, having one of these rolling ladders really does not work with the space and I feel adds a little bit more visual clutter. It is beautiful. The way that the brass hardware complements the white oak is a really great element. I would have opted to not have this in the kitchen overall.
This living room is honestly so beautiful. Every element of it gives me such a cozy environment that I think would be incredible for hosting, which she says she does a lot. You have the bar on one side that has the capability of the full range of everything that's there. And you have this almost designed conversation pit that is almost secluded with those high backs. Another really great element that I will always include in every single one of my designs is architectural and sculptural lighting pieces, which I think they added in beautifully here. It envelops the entire ceiling instead of having one focal point. So visually it drops down the ceiling and giving a much more cozy vibe. I had this swing in a different house and the original swing we lost in the fire, but I really had a vision of having this swing there, which I lie in it all the time. I mean, I go there and I read or talk on the phone or whatever. If you've seen this review before, you know she has the infamous swinging chair, which honestly I think is so cool, but secretly I think she has some sex parties. Can you say that? But y'all don't say that. <laughs> Adding in this really playful element in here, I think is really beautiful in such a contemporary design space that can feel very stale. Having all these playful elements, like the stringed lights that are all along the ceiling and a few of these kind of curved elements really create a space that is less static compared to your typical designed living room or hosting space. Bit of a spa moment happening. This is the absolute meaning of luxury. If you can have this much space in your house to have a spa that looks like this, trust me, I don't think I would ever leave. Every little detail that comes down to the tiles enveloping the entire space, the mood lighting, the LED strip lighting that's hidden throughout, and the cold plunge. Gwyneth, when can I come over? Robin and Steven found these amazing tiles. They're handmade and I love all the details details that they had done, color, and it's very calming in here as well. And there's a cold plunge, excellent for circulation. The elements of a real spa bring in a lot of natural elements. And I think this is such a beautiful detail to have that natural light come in, but have it completely diffused. They have this beautiful setup of sun, why am I saying sunbeams, sunroof, skylights hell. Bringing in those natural elements and having these skylights bring in this diffused light throughout the space that really flood it creates such a beautiful environment that is so spa-like. I want to give an award to whoever did this specific room because honestly if I had a bathroom with a spa that looked like this you would never get me out of there. There are a few choice elements that personally I wouldn't involve in it but once again this is her home. She chose these specific styles that work so well with her character and I feel very much this is her space. Whether you love or hate her, this home is designed daddy approved. Let me know in the comments below which celebrity home I should react to next and don't forget to like this video if you have not already subscribed. Click that button right there. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Mr. Phoenix Gray for everything design related. And if you're ever second guessing yourself, just think what would design daddy do? Oh, yo, yo.